Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs here, Legion Tac Cool Cutlery. Welcome back, troops, Legionnaires, new recruits. Appreciate you guys as always, man. We are almost at 5,000 Legionnaires. I can't wait. You know, it's just a milestone for me. Don't really care about the money. It's just a milestone, you know, and it's uh, it's been a pretty cool journey so far. All right, so yeah, I mean, Ned Foss contacted me and uh, asked me if I was interested in reviewing these two knives. I says, yeah, why not? You know, so um, I just received them, okay? So full disclosure, I did receive these from Ned Foss to uh, test out. And uh, I, I kind of like them, man, you know? I, maybe I don't like the design over here too much. I would rather have seen it just maybe all G10 without the, the, the picture. But I mean, I guess that, you know, the... The skull is kind of cool, but uh, all right, listen, before I get into anything, what are you guys and gals carrying? Well, I am carrying, believe it or not, both of these knives. I've got one of the sheaths on my hip right now because I'm testing it out. Um, I am carrying this one in my sheath, and I am carrying this one in my uh, left pocket. So yeah, what do you guys and gals got? Um, I'm doing a uh, pre-recorded Legion Live on this one. Uh, again, I'm in a spot where the reception is iffy, and I wanted to give you guys and gals the absolute best video that I can to show you these pretty cool knives, you know? So, all right. So, without further ado, these are two Ned Foss um, pocket folders, okay? And one of them is the NF-17, which I think is this one, and this is the NF-18, all right? Uh, this is an 8CR steel uh, drop point, but I like this design better than this one because that, that knife design, that blade design looks really, really, really aggressive. So I'm kind of digging this one, and this is the, let me just make sure, the Ned Foss NF-18. All right, and this is more of a drop point type folder. Um, when I pulled them out of the box, man, I couldn't believe how hefty they were. And I, you know, I took a really good look at these things. They arrived yesterday, so you know, I took a really, really good look at these. And not only are they nice and hefty, but you know, they're they're really great, great quality. So I will be doing some close ups for you guys and gals, um, and talk about the sheath. Okay, there's one part of the sheath that. You know, I would definitely suggest to Ned Foss they have to re relook at, but you know, again, we'll get into it. Um, I just want to say to the veterans and uh, active military, if you're watching, you know, thank you very much for your service, guys and gals. We appreciate you guys, and uh, this channel definitely supports you. All right, so uh, let me just go over. Let me get to Amazon and let me just go over some of the specs of these knives, okay? Uh, bear with me, troops, as I'm trying to do this as a Legion Live except recorded. All right. I'm going to set this up as a premiere. So this way, if you guys and gals have any questions, um, you know, we can we can discuss it online or you could always you know write it down in the comments below. So we're looking at they're saying here it's a three in one type knife. It's uh 3.8 inch large uh, blade pocket knife with a glass breaker, seatbelt cutter, which I kind of want to test, you know what I mean? Because this is, you know, this is a type of knife that, um, you know, it's good to keep in the car, you know what I mean? In your glove compartment or in your um, side compartment by your driver's seat, you know, in case, God forbid, you need to use it. Or if you, you know, again, God forbid, see an accident and you need to pull somebody out of the car, you know, I, I kind of want to see if that actually works. So, I will be testing out both these knives individually. Um, some light testing, nothing heavy duty. You know what I mean? Because they're just pocket knives. So, all right. So this one is, okay, let me just make sure I got this. This is the NF-17 over here, right here. This one's the NF-17. It does come with a sheath, all right? Um, this one has... 8CR14 MOV stainless steel. Uh, and let's see. Hold on a second, troops. I think I saw a picture. Uh, oh, they're saying that this has brass ball bearings. 
right? <laughs> They're calling this a personalized uh, skull G10. So I, I'm, I think that this little insert in here is G10. It um, has a seatbelt cutter as a feature and a glass breaker right there, all right? Now, somewhere here is some specs, so just bear with me a second. All right, so the whole knife, when it's open, it's 8.7 inch. The blade length is a 3.8 inch. Um, I guess the thickness is 0.12 inch. And it's kind of a thick blade. You know, you're going to see it in a second. And uh, I guess the liners over here. And the thickness is they're saying is 0.5 inch. So again, we're going to show you that in a minute or two. All right. So we will take a look at this knife first. All right. I'll give you a good close up. And this is definitely one that I, I, I want to keep. You know, this is that's a nice one. I love that blade design. I, I think it's pretty aggressive and it looks really good. So yeah, that's it. That's good enough for the specs right now. It, it seems to have gotten some pretty good reviews on Amazon, but let's check it out, okay? I, I love this blade. I love this blade. I think that that is an awesome, aggressive looking, I guess it's a drop point, but almost like a spear point, and it's just, it just looks really, really nice. Uh, personally, I could have done without the holes. I would rather have seen just a fuller here, but, you know, it does look nice. It's not so bad. Um, it does have some thun studs and some jimping, all right? And the jimping is not too aggressive, but you got some good grip, all right? So I'm giving it a good, you know, push, and it feels pretty good. Um, it is a liner lock, okay? Now, it does look kind of thin, but they thinned it out just over here, you know? I guess they chamfered it right over here, but if you look on the inside, Let's see if I can get you a good view. It looks pretty thick, and it's definitely not only is it stiff, but it's definitely covering you know the the inside of the blade. There is the uh, this. I, I'm assuming this is a stainless steel of some sort. It, if you look carefully, it is skeletonized on the inside, so not not a bad knife. And it's got a it's a flipper, so it has a nice little guard. At least it has some kind of a guard. All right, the handle is nicely contoured. Now, set aside this in case you guys and gals don't like it, but set aside this, you know, it's got <clears throat> some nice grooving over here on both sides. All right, I like this design more than I like this design. As you could see, this is more flat over here where this is more rounded. I don't know, this, the handle, the, the blade, it just appeals to me way more than this one, but that's just me, you know, you you guys and gals have to decide for yourselves if this type of a look of a knife is, is right for you or not, okay? But definitely a nice swell over here, okay? So when I'm gripping it, it feels pretty good in the hand, okay? Yeah, feels, feels fine, you know? Um, look how thick that is. I mean, this is serious. This is not garbage. You know, I don't know what kind of steel it is, but it's for a handle, you know. I don't mind what kind of steel it is, and it looks really nice. So, here is the glass breaker, and it's significant, you know. This is a, this is a nice glass breaker, and, you know, the way you can hold it, all right. You could definitely see the indentations over here. I'm sure it would be effective um, in breaking glass in case, God forbid, of some kind of an emergency. And uh, it does come with a seatbelt cutter. Now, I have something similar, you know, a, a way cheaper version of a Chinese knife, no name brand, and it had a um, seatbelt cutter and it didn't work at all, you know. But it looks like, to me, that if you unscrew these, this can pop off and you could sharpen it. But this, I mean, I'm feeling it with my thumb a little bit it does feel like it's sharp so you know when i test it i'm going to test that out with some uh, a little bit of rope or whatever paracord maybe to see if that really does cut um i don't have any seat belt material yet um i don't know if any of you legionnaires have any extra maybe you could send me some <sighs> if you find something on the ground or something like that you know you want to send me some that would be awesome if not I'll see if I can conjure something up, but I, I really want to test that. 
Now, the only other issue I have is that it is what uh, it is tip down carry and you, you can't move it to the other side. So it's only one option for carry. You can't even put it out here on the other side, which I'm kind of surprised that Ned Foss and, you know, engineered a little bit different to carry, carry this clip. I'm sorry, to carry this knife a little bit different in the pocket. All right. But it, it still, it still works. You know, when I put it in my pocket, it works just fine. Um, so yeah, here's that column post and they did a nice job. At least they, you know, they spent a little money on that column post. The liner seems pretty big, man. You know, um, I want you guys to look, there's no blade play here. None, no blade play, no up and down. You know, I, I I'm always worried about that with these, uh, you know, uh, less expensive knives. And I'm sure you are too, but I've had plenty of knives that have done very well, you know, $19, $20 that have no blade play. And this one has no blade play. Not only does it not have any blade play, but look at that. Okay, that's pretty straight. That's really nice. The ball bearing flipping is beautiful. I just love the aggressiveness of this, of this blade design. I like the handle design. I mean, this is, uh, you know, I'm going to carry this for a while, see how it works out, you know? And again, I will be doing a test on this one. Okay, let me just swap it out with this one over here. I just want to make sure it's propped up so you guys get a good view. Now, this is the Ned Foss NF18. Let me get the specs for that real quick. And we... And we will move on from that then. Just one second, troops, just one second. All right, so pretty similar, pretty similar knives. Just again, you know, different design in the handle still has a glass breaker, still has a seat belt cutter. Um, I'm just gonna double check to see if it does have a ball bearing flipper. Uh, let me look at the specs real quick. Okay, another, again, it's saying it's a multifunction rescue knife, three in one, large bait blade for cutting, seat belt cutter, window glass breaker, uh, quick opening flipper. So the Ned Foss 18 is a steel of 7CR, 17 MOB, which I don't kind of understand why they did that. Um, I would have used 8CR for both of these knives. I, I kind of like the 8CR over the 7CR, um, but they, they, they work. You know, they, they really work. Uh, and it cuts paper, by the way. These are very sharp. These do cut paper. So I'm going to show you guys that in a second. Um, so yeah, this does have brass ball bearings. Again, it says personalized skull G10. You know, I, I could leave it, but it, it's not so bad. You know, if you're going to use it, it doesn't matter. Seatbelt cutter, glass breaker. It does again, come with a nylon sheath, which I gotta, you know, I want, definitely want to discuss with you guys and gals. Um, okay, here we go. This is a nine inch blade with a 3.8 inch drop point uh, knife blade. Um, one, I'm sorry, this is 0 0.14 inch thickness. All right. And again, this is, I guess the liner is a 0.5 inch thick liner. Let's see if there's anything else over here that I could tell you guys and gals. And I'll put up uh, the description and the links for this, these two knives in the comment and in the description section. So you guys and gals could take a look, but again, not a bad looking knife for uh, some people who like drop point type configurations. This is kind of like a drop point, spear point type of thing. Got a nice little swedge. Again, this is very sharp over here, you know? Decently thick, it's got some jimping. This one, believe it or not, is a little bit smoother than this one and a little bit less jimping. All right, it's it's smooth. It's not as aggressive as this one, and I'm kind of slipping just just a little bit. 
all right again ball bearing flipper and it does have a flipper over here uh handle a little bit different than this one than this one over here as you can see still functional right gripping it reverse grip yeah i mean it's it's fine it's it's fine again this one is a tip down carry and again this does not have an option uh to, to make it left or right carry although i have learned to carry you know right handed knives on the left side of my pocket um i know some people don't like tip down carry you know again it's something that you guys and gals are going to have to decide uh there's your window breaker there is the seat belt cutter again a very nice thick scale type liners you know very sturdy now this liner lock i kind of feel is a little bit thinner than this one just a little bit but you know it, it's staying in place so not so bad not so bad it's got a little bit of a design over here that this one doesn't have they smoothed this one out this one's a little bit more rougher like kind of like a jimping on that side but not a big deal again i'm assuming if you wanted to sharpen this the two screws could be loosened and this blade would pull out i'm not 100 percent sure though okay there's some logos over there very small nothing big deal a knife that you could definitely keep in your car you know in the in the center console glove compartment or in a glove compartment you know for emergency situations or you can carry it every day you know i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna be carrying both knives you know one in the pocket and one in the sheath um just to just to see you know let's see this now all right Again, it's quick flip. Now the detent on this one is, I'm not sure if it's just my knife, but it goes down real quick. So I don't know if a lot, you know, people are gonna be upset with that or not. But this one could, I mean, the detent issue could be with my knife. This one though, you see, it takes a little while, you know, a little more to get it in there. It still goes down though, but say, more safer than this one. But again, it could be this particular knife. I don't mind about the detent. You know, I, I I really don't care about detent. That's my personal opinion. Some people out there do, so I wanted to show everybody. All right, even closed, it's a nice it's a nice presence. You know, I, I'm definitely digging these knives. I I do kind of they're growing on me. You know, they are growing on me now. I just gotta test them out for everybody. You know, but um, let me just talk about the sheath now. This is where I have a little bit of a concern with the sheath. The, the sheath is just nylon, you know, and everything here is fine, except when you start to get to this. <laughs> now, there's only a stitch I see, just one stitch. I, I just can't see this lasting too long, but, you know, I don't know. Time will tell. I got one on my hip right now, and we're going to see. You know, I'm pulling on it. But again, time will tell once you're sitting down, standing up, et cetera, et cetera. Other than that, the sheath is really, it's, it's good, you know? The sheath is good. Pop this in. You know, we're not talking leather or anything fancy. It, it works. For me, this works. All right? So and that's one thing I definitely wanted to show you guys and gals. Again, a decision that you all have to make. Um, if you're considering purchasing these two knives but this one the 17 i like i like the way it looks i like the gray gunmetal you know um the blade is the blade shape is nice i like it way better than this one i mean just it just looks like it's more aggressive you know the the drop and uh, looks more combat type you know more t i guess tactical but more combat like you know, more fighting style than this one. This one looks more ut ut utility. But uh, when I get to finally testing out these knives, I'll do some rope cut, rope cut uh, tests. I'll do some uh, plastic tie testing, etc. So I'm going to make a couple of shorts today, and then eventually I will be back to test out these knives. Now, for the collector, it comes with a nice box, all right, Ned Foss. It has some small labeling over here. 
gives you basically the model number, but I wanted to show the collector, you know, you guys love knives. You don't, you know, you're an enthusiast like me. You don't care what kind of knife you get, but you want to keep the box. That's a decent box. It's not a, it's not a bad box. It came, you know, from Amazon, nice and clean. I think Netboss sent these from Amazon. They came nice and clean, no dents, no breaks, no nothing. Cause I've gotten some boxes from some manufacturers that were just a mess, but, uh, yeah. All right, troops. There you go. There is just a small Legion live pre-recorded look <laughs> at these uh, two knives. So stay tuned for the uh, testing of both these knives. And uh, I might be giving this one away. Okay, I'm, maybe I might not test this one. I think I'm going to be doing a collaboration with another content creator for a bug out bag. And I'm probably going to send this to him. But this one I'm going to put to the test. I like this one. Again, some light batoning, light chopping, light, very light. You know, I know a lot of you guys and gals don't agree with that, but truthfully, I don't care. You know, I, I want to test the knife my way, how I would use it. And, uh, you know, I'm excited. I hope you guys and gals are too. All right, Troops, Legionnaires, new recruits, as always, appreciate you guys. I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day, hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans and active military out there. And once they get out of the service, they do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, one of these challenges is suicide. So in the comment section, the description section, there's going to be phone numbers, websites, and a heartfelt message from a legionnaire, Martin Miller, who was a Vietnam veteran. He's been there. He's done that. Please seek the help that you all have earned and deserved. All right, troops, legionnaires, new recruits at the ready. Hold the line. Take care.